Hey, kinfolk, welcome to Keeping It Neat Live College Night. Woo, woo, woo! woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Gonna have a frat party, get that going. Can we say frat? Uh, you have to say fraternity party. Depends on party. where you're at. I, I uh, say fraternity parties, but we, we can, for the for the show, we can do it for you. Oh, okay. Well, thank yeah. you. I well, appreciate that. Uh, I do appreciate that. I do so, anything oh, I can for you. Well, what are we going to just put cold water in that to heat it up? What are we doing? <laughs> what are we going to do? Oh, we could. Yeah, so, folks, you know why we're here. We are here for college night. Bottom shelf bourbon. That is correct. The bottom shelf bourbon's here. Um, actually, hun, you know what I need? Can you grab the um, the list that's in the box for the bottom shelf bourbons? It tells us the description of them and stuff like that. It's should be a single sheet of paper in there. Thank you. I can't wait. I know. And so, you know, we've got right here in front of us. Let me. Uh, well, let, let's show the crowd what we'll be drinking tonight. All right. Um, we have with us tonight in no particular order because everyone, they got blind samples out of this. So everyone has a blind sample. So <laughs> thank you. I'll put that I down here. Blind samples. And our first, well, that we have to be drinking with us for tonight is going to be Evan Williams 1783 is one of these. So okay. that, that's in our list. We have the amazing Old Crow. That's okay. right. That's in here. This is another bottom <laughs> shelf bourbon. Um, we also have Earl Settler. Uh, settler, I should say. Um, but unfortunately, I was unable to find a picture that I could just readily just kind of throw up there. Let me take down the old crow. <laughs> I there literally hit it behind so it. The, yeah, so the Earl Settler we have um, is one of them that we have for tonight. And to throw you for a little bit of loop tonight, we went middle-ish, top-ish shelf. Okay. So one of your blinds is Eagle Rare. Hey, I love Eagle Rare. That's uh, actually. Oh, I know you do. Well, that's the first one you ever got me into this with. Was it? Oh yeah, it yeah. was. Eagle Rare was your yeah. was your hook. That is correct. The I've Eagle never Rare gone back. Was your, you've never gone. I've never looked back. This was it. Never, never looked back. Not even once. But all right. So we we we're getting people coming in right now. We've got sixteen watching. Um, we sent out twenty some odd of these samples all this right. month. I can't remember quite how many people got into the college night. But we have a couple of new people that did sign up. So yeah. welcome aboard. Welcome. We have a couple of people from Florida down there that uh signed up for this one uh friends of the lovely bourbon babe yeah um you know well, actually one friend of bourbon babe and then she got uh the the friend of the bourbon babe got her friend involved also so sweet we sent out two down there to florida to cool. um the ladies in florida that will be sipping along with us for college night reliving their youth as we did nice um even though i didn't go to college but hey you know what it's it, it's across i'll bear for the rest of my life all right so we'll be back folks you know what eight seconds And we're back. Look, oh, kids. I'm trying to find us on here, and I can't. I don't know where we are. So right I don't at know. the top. There at the top. Oh, you got to refresh it. That's why. Oh, well. Let me refresh. Why. I am so sassy. No. It's so funny. There You're very is. good with technology when it comes to recording all the gift. I yeah. mean, the uh, creation. Yeah, that stuff. stuff I, my phone is just beyond me. I can. I have monitors here set yeah. up. Three monitors. I've got multiple light cameras. Audio equipment working. Speaking of audio, is everyone able to hear us correctly? Um, are we coming through okay? That's another thing that you know I don't have that. We've got woo. What else we got? We got Faith's gonna <laughs> be here. Not gonna lie, bottom shelf bourbon has me a little nervous. Yeah, well, you know, Faith. Sometimes you just gotta roll with it. That's all there is to it. You know, college night, someone break out the. the that's off. me. I've been there and done oh, that. Uh, oh, that's Sadie. Oh, no, is that Sadie? She gets it. Yeah. So, no, I don't know. That was this. it. And when you were a freshman, you drank Ruben off, and it was. The gross. We should have gotten that for tonight, even though it was totally not whisk because it's like the worst thing you could ever drink. Oh, is it really? I honestly would have probably thrown up on the spot. Like it's just it's one of those things that gets ingrained into you. It's disgusting. There's a few <laughs> liquors from college I can never go back. It's Rubinoff, UV Blue, and Burnett's. I could never sip Burnett's. those again without getting sick. All right. Okay. Well. Ugh. Okay. So I've actually never tried it. Um, besides Eagle Rare, I've done that. I've never done any of the other three. So they're okay. all new to me. All right, so we've got uh, we've got actually someone on YouTube here. Uh, who's this? University of Polk, I guess, from Woo. So maybe that is actually a college. University of Polk? Yeah, I don't know. Like maybe not. Bowls? Well, I don't know. Maybe Pokes and Bowls. I don't know what they're poking, <laughs> but hey. <laughs> Pokes and Bowls before, but, man. You know, all right? So we've got all that going on. So, yeah, so we have. I can't believe that joke came back. <laughs> it just rolls around. 
going on the whole night long. <laughs> Love yet. it. But hey, folks, we don't know if you went to college or if you didn't go to college. But guess what? We're all going to have the college experience tonight because we've all been to a party at some point in time. You didn't have to go to college to go to a party when we were younger. Yep. And you didn't care what you drank. No. It was whatever was available, probably stolen out of someone's father's liquor cabinet or the house that you were at. You broke into a liquor cabinet and took their stuff <laughs> yeah. because it wasn't yours and you didn't care who got in trouble. No, because exactly. you were just going to leave and go home. Yeah. You were lucky <laughs> if you got a beer. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you were lucky. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. So how we're going to start is obviously we've got our blind samples that we gave everyone. So you can pour those out. You know, you can let them open up in with a rich bouquet. And if you notice, you know, I sent everyone a little college night solo cup so you could all enjoy um, just like it was back in the day when we, uh, you know, you go up to the kegger. Yeah. With your uh, big old solo cup and did you fill up and went back into the party. Um, but we're going to put our actual whiskey in that, you know, and I was worried about putting the whiskey in here. I'm like. It's none yeah. of it's too high of a proof, so it's not going to eat through the plastic, which is good. Which we've been down that road. Yeah, we have been down that road. <laughs> we, we, were, we were doing our fillings for our uh, next month sip along, our mm -hmm. live um, for next month, May, when we're doing our blend mm -hmm. for the Cleveland Whiskey Blend with Muckies. Yep. Um, and actually, when I was pulling, pouring out the barrel proofs, it literally ate through the the pourers that I was using, and just like it had like a fracture point, and it just literally ate through it, and they were just falling off. I yep. lost two of them in that uh, predicament. So I drank them for you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. No, don't worry about the plastic. No, don't worry about I the took plastic. It like a champ for you. Yep. So, so um, yeah, we are doing this not in the Glen Carnes tonight, so it'll be a little bit interesting. I don't know the order, just like you don't know the order, and we'll try to figure it out by the end of the night. Derek's the only one. Do you know Bourbon Baby? No. I you don't know. know. Nope. She had okay, so she doesn't know either. Nope. nope nobody. The only person that knows is me because I had to set all this stuff up. So yeah. I had to get them all out, and I don't know how that would work if I just did them all blind and nobody knew. And what they nobody were ever knew. We're just gonna have to guess. But at the end of the night, what we're gonna do is you're gonna have to try to guess the order of what it is. So which one, you know, A is, which B is, if it's, you know. Eagle Rare, what Old Crow is, what letter these all are, and we'll see. You know, maybe somebody will get it right. I don't know. And we got Bourbon Babe. Just low oh, throwing, <laughs> low throwing me yeah, cheese balls off screen, screen over there. Apparently, we're going to be getting like pegged with cheese balls all night. She's going to keep a running tally, and the loser, whoever doesn't catch the most, will um, have to take a shot at the end. Oh, that's, that's what she said. A shot of. Uh, oh, she would have gotten me. I wasn't paying any attention. Right? This Listen, could get we're trying to hold a show here. Come on, easy. <laughs> My hands are like <laughs> it's like football all over again. <laughs> get ready, get ready. <laughs> down, down. <laughs> All right, folks. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to sip this like we normally do as sip along. We'll see what notes we get and um, on the palate and everything. Put put it down in the comments what you're getting out of it. So we're going to start with sample A. So everyone get your sample A's ready. We're going to bust those out. Um, Nick, you can start us off. I have to work some magic here. Sure thing. Get, get our stuff going at All the right. bottom of this. People know what we're doing here. Bottom shelf bourbon night. Oh, sounds yeah. good. Got to cheers you, though. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers Kim. Oh, there's a cling, cling. Doesn't make know, a big noise of plastic. Yeah, there's no. Ooh. It's got a pretty nice nose it, to it. It doesn't have a bad nose out of a plastic cup. We were hesitant. We were hesitant. Now, we can't promise that by sample D. No, I can't promise you anything. <laughs> Ever. Ever. <laughs> he is not reliable. Nope, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> now. Ooh. So comment below what you're getting, yep. and we'll all talk about it like we always do. Yep. So if whatever you're getting out of sample A, you know, put that it's in the so comments. It's so much harder to get this. It is so hard. You know, and that, that's the whole thing. Like, it was, oh, the solo cups. And I was like, yeah, but it's going to be tougher to get a nose out of it because of the shape of the solo cup. And it's really not meant for nose. And if you remember back in your college and early, maybe late high school days, we weren't really going for aroma or, a, or the palate of what you, whatever you were drinking at the time. Yeah, no. You you just take it for what it is. Jared so. Alves, honey and wood. I was going to say honey at first off the honey. bat. Yep. What else we got here? We got vanilla. Okay. Nice. I like that. I like that too. Honey and a little apple from John Giza. I got some apple in there. Yeah, honey apple. Sure. All right. We got heavy oak and vanilla. Okay. That's from Paul. You guys are helping us out. Oh, I, what's this? I want to know if everyone else is drinking it out of a soda. Oh, no. Sorry, Anna. Her allergies are acting up. And you, you can't, can't smell, smell anything. anything. Uh, it's That's tough. That's why I've been doing, I start before the season starts. It's an allergy pill and it's the nasal spray. Oh, Off okay. brand. I don't buy brands. Now do you? And um, every day, both hmm. of those, nothing. No problems yet. I hope that's wood. That's <laughs> asparagus. Okay. Oh, I was coming up with asparagus. Thing Who's is, that? I don't know. Steve Robar. <laughs> asparagus. <laughs> Uh, 
that's good. Oh, all right, good. I'm going in for it. All right. Oh, not in the parking lot. We're in the point of... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's got to be Tony. Going in. Ah, oh, the Glen Karn. Yep. If you notice, Nick does the subtle swish like he's mouthwashing. Ooh, ASMR? heavy cinnamon. People like that. <laughs> people want it. Some people like it. Got a little cinnamon oak. Very thin palate. Yeah, it is, Paul. A lot of wood. It is. Um, it's really, it's, 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 it's like here and there. It's like you get it and then it's gone, like almost instantly. There's really not a lot going on in there. It's tough to pull out. Yep, someone said the cinnamon. It was like a I agree. It's not like a hot pepper. It's like a weird spice pepper that just sits on my tongue after a little bit. A spice pepper. The spice girls. Yeah, like not not like a hot pepper. It just Oop, is like I don't, what I, want. I don't know what it is. It's sitting around my tongue. I gotta figure it out. I'll it's working on it, working on it. Oh, why is it doing this? It's gonna be in the Sorry, you're getting that back feed there. I'm trying to pull this up and it's not working for me. I think you just gotta turn your volume down. Probably do. <laughs> but I guess I could do that. Thank you, Nick. You're right. I couldn't do that. This has been, again, another phone problem. Yes, it has been. In the past, oh, right, what have we been live? 10 minutes? That's uh, all right. All right. So Anna, she says she Still tasted wood like a, like a lick cinnamon stick fireball shot. Yeah. No, I, I got that cinnamon off the beginning, too. Um, someone says familiar. Really familiar. Tony. Oh, that's Tony. Tony, okay. go click the blue link. No, that's he's he's oh yeah he's on Facebook yeah. so he is Facebook yep uh, who else it we got? really just Faith. dies off it's Smelled like pepper but don't taste like pepper yeah and there's like it's it's like flavorful on the first sip and then just goes away then nothing else so the finish no finish in my books what do we got here Paul Michael says it's a high corn mash bill with a low rye. Very specific. He is. He's 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 a big whiskey man, Paul. Tom. <laughs> he actually lives way out of state. He lives closer to Kentucky than to us. Let's go to him. <laughs> <laughs> Next flight. Let's go. Mike Kalis comes kind of similar to Jack on the nose. Okay, he's saying it's more similar, like a Tennessee style. Getting a subtle aroma from Jeff. Of I should be studying for my psych midterm. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, that would be nice. I mean, there were definitely times that I did papers like under the influence, hundred percent. Yep. Yeah, you like just had to bang it out. You're like, it's you? do at ten a.m. Me? Me? No. Nick? Do I have to do the blue every time? Do what you can. You're not gonna lose out. No, on you a good shouldn't. Night. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Um, you know, when you to do the, but some people it doesn't. But maybe you do every once in a while. I don't know if you have to refresh it every once in a while, Tony, and go back in there because sometimes it it. I have to do it for the whole streaming service that we use just so I can see all everyone's names in here. So it might be that, but um, we'll just Star Anise. Star Anise. Star Anise. Oh, that's very specific. Yep. Boom. I'm done with A. I, I don't think I pulled up any magic. <laughs> that doesn't tell me anything about which bottle it is, but I'm, I'm getting a little of it. That's okay. what it is. I, I think that was the spice I was looking for. It's not pepper. It's Star Anise. Star Anise. I think so. All right. I, I'm going to believe in you. I'm not a spice guy, but. I'm a spice girl. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I want, whatever. All right, who, whose uh, generation was that? Mine? Yours? That was later. I mean, it was in the spice 90s. Spice Girls was in the but 90s. But when I was in college, was... like, who was in college when that song came out? That's what oh, I want to know. know. I don't know when in the 90s that would have been. I would have been in college from 89 through... I guess 94. I don't know. 93. 98? 93, yeah. If I went to college. I'm looking it up because it's going to bother me. I went to the College of Hard Knocks where I broke up prison fights. It's a hard knock life for us. That's what I did for my college exam. Wanna be son of the Spice Girls. Just tucked adults into bed. Oh. 96. 96 it came out. All right. Was that your your term? No. no I was, was for four? four years old. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was married. Well, you wow. could have had me. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is Nick, my love child. My college love child, Nick. Oh, my gosh. I love it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. All right. So we're going to save this last set because we third grade. Oh, man. Everyone was young. Everyone was wicked young. Third grade. Weird whiskey pairing. Chick-fil-A. Ch with Chick-fil-A, this is a whiskey. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Hess on the star and east says faith. Okay, okay, okay. You, Very nice. So Faith's we've got, we've got some people following I'll take it. up. All right. Um, should I read the notes from this one and see what it says? No. No. You want to do that at the end? Yes. Well, I, I'm not going to read tell you what it is. I'm just going to read the notes, the, the tasting notes. Okay. That's all. I'm not going to tell I'm you. Peeking. What if he peek? holds it up and they can all see? I'll hold it down here below me. Fine. Whoa. This is like he's this is, college. Now, he's reading the Okay, I'm, I'm cheating. I got my cheat sheet. got the cheat sheet. I got my cheat sheet going down below here. And here's the thing. I'm going to let you know with bottom shelf bourbons, it's not easy to We're get tasting get notes. What? We're going to get caught. Someone's no, going to see me cheating. Here's all that there is for the notes on this one, kids. I love that. Sweet and light, which everyone did say. Everyone said that it was sweet, but a very light nose. With vanilla and caramel notes, crisp and light finish. And that's all you're getting out of that. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's that's what you're getting. So this bottle is it whatever whichever one it is. Yeah, is a depiction of your like every review. Every Vanil review, vanilla, vanilla caramel. caramel. Vanilla caramel. Done. There you go. Done, and you nailed it right here, right here, right now, that's, folks. That's all you could get on it. I love that cheat sheet. There you go. Yep, that's right. I had my cheat sheet. Wow. All right. The bourbon babe has I'm sticking with my star and east then, Not Faith. Me. What do we got? You here? sound smart. I was in my second <laughs> year of teaching. Wow. See, Darren. Darren knows. Darren's up there. Wow. All right. Theron's, you know, a. You guys look great. Oh, yeah, thank you. It's all the the liquor I had pickled me, so I, I gotta so. say that <laughs> pickled you. I'm pickled. You were so brined, I'm preserved. Basically, I've been brined. I've been brining myself for the last, you know, forty some odd. Well, wow. I, I, I can't say I was drinking since ten, but I technically have been drinking since those ten. You probably because, have. Yeah, probably. You probably got the special at night. Grandma got you, gave you the tea. Maybe, no, I guess to get, you know, for holidays you get the little. Um, that would be we'd like Thanksgiving, Christmas stuff because you get the little pony bottles of beer. They, you know, my father would mm -hmm. give me a little, me and my brother, little pony bottles. So oh, you get cool. the little, those little tiny, tiny, yeah, tiny yeah, yeah. cans. That's so what you we, technically. You'd, and you'd suck on that. You didn't care if it was warm, you yeah. know, and you'd run around. No. So we had a frat party when I was 10. There's your brother. Wow. Beer. Yeah. Oh, there it <laughs> yeah, is. The, the pony, pony beer. beer. That's right. The pony beers. Oh, uh, what's this? College would have been 88 to 92 for Jeff. Okay, Jeff. And Tracy. And Tracy, too. All right. All right. So they they were just in front of it. Yep. Like There's right one, there when you're ahead of me. Came so out. That's what, you know, so. We'll find the right person. We will. All right, folks. We're going to move on to B next. So get your B samples ready. We're going to tear into the B. Same thing. We're going to get what we get off our nose and palate and put it down in the comments and let us know what you're getting. Awesome. All right. Here we go. B, folks. B. You ready? B for boil. Cling. Cling. Wow. Okay. A little different nose. It's My nose is it, all messed up tonight. It might be from these sweet, sweet... <laughs> Plastic cups with sipping, just nosing these out of. It's definitely my left nostril tonight. It is. Oh my yeah, gosh. Well. Wait, I have a great story. So oh. I was with my mom. She doesn't normally drink bourbon. Okay, that was great. Thanks. Yeah. And anyway. <laughs> I'm going to keep going. And she, I was letting, um, I was letting her try our bottle. Yep. I was giving her a little something, something. And she was like, you know, made the wince in the face and stuff. But I explained to them the whole nostril thing and all that stuff. And I'm not kidding you, like an hour, hour and a half goes by or something. We're just about to leave. And then we were like, she was like, hey, do you want to try this gin? It's like a homemade gin, like supposed to be real good, whatever. Yeah, let's do it. No lie. She goes, oh my God. And she freaks out. She goes, my nose changed. <laughs> and I was like, see, I told you I'm not making this up. And she's like, that's amazing. I wicked thought you were lying to me. And I was like, why would I lie to you? Dude, I'm just going to, I'm just lying to you. Yeah. That's it just, why? I'm trying to get you in. I'm not going to lie to you, but yeah. maybe anything to get in on the next. That's my mother. <laughs> Many a times. I'm sure. That's <laughs> yeah. Cherry cough syrup. I was going to say some cherry in there. Yep. Cherry cough syrup. A little cherry emblem there. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, God. I'm trying to, I have to go so deep. So many puns. I'm not going to even say it. You good? <laughs> I'm getting like a black tea. Black tea, huh? Hmm. Okay. I can see the black tea in there. I can see the cherry, too. That, that, that oh, yeah. fruity nose in there. Yeah. The cough syrupy end of it. I can see it going to, towards that end. Okay. All right, let's take a sip because I'm not getting much more off other than that. Ooh, a little oak. Spice. Yep. Wow. Mm. Got dark cherry there on the, yeah. the tongue. This is so much more on the... 
Wow. Palette, then. The yeah. Me. There's a lot going on. Like an earthy tone in there, too. Like yeah. a must, maybe musty. I'll say like an earthy musty. mustiness to it. Yeah, totally. Like a. Cherry. I know earthy is the better word, but yeah, like dirtish. Well, no, like a musty. You know, like the, like when you say a mustiness, it doesn't like have a to. book. An yeah, old, a book, book like a mu old musty book. Okay. Yeah, there's no, there's no nose here for me. Cherry for sure. And if I go any, if I go any deeper in this with my nose, it's going up the nose, and we're gonna have a problem. Is that like the the two bucket, <laughs> two buck shuck of bourbon? <laughs> Little leather. However, says Paul. If you want to spoil me, take me out for Buck a Shuck. I love oh, Buck a Shuck. Buck a Shuck. We did that last week. Shuck. We'll have to go do that again. It was good. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, we talked that waitress into Buck a Shuck. Yeah, it was already past Buck a Shuck. We were well, well we past Buck a Shuck. Well past. But the, but we Hour and a half late. Yep. And I was like, have you heard of keeping a knee? <laughs> he and she goes, I did. And she goes, no. And I said, well, that's our See, YouTube show. Paul, and thank I got you. It. Because what is it? I say dusty corn and I get laughed out of the studio when I say it. So we get like a, like a dusty corn and. And Nick just starts laughing. Bourbon Babe looks at me like I have six heads, but I, I get a hundred on the test. I hope he retypes and puts. I meant to say musty. <laughs> oh, musty corn. It's a musty corn, what's, not dusty. What's corn. dusty corn? It's just like the corn powder. It's like you know, like the corn itself, but it's like the you after it's been milled. Okay. And it's basically when they they pulverize it and they crush it down to actually make the um when they're doing the the batch itself. Oh. So it's like the powdered form of it. So it's okay. like a dustier light. It's like that light that the, it's just. Yeah. The, Aroma of the corn, but it's the dusty. They call it dusty corn. Okay. That's it. I'm done explaining things to you. <laughs> Feel hurt on the so inside. Bad. Feel hurt on the inside after that one. I'm done explaining. B is a no for Anna. A was way better for her little taste buds. Really? <laughs> yes, it was. Oh, wait. Is Anna the one that doesn't she... drink much? Yes. 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 She, she'd rather have a fruity drink. Yeah. So she's, she's doing her bourbon night here for the first time going hard liquor tonight. Hard liquor for the ladies in Florida. Proud of her. I am too. Oh, 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 off the so face. Close. So close. Almost there. Got the lead. You dropped it. Yeah. Heimlich maneuver cop. is going to be needed. I really hope this is not the Eagle Rare, not one I'd choose to drink again. <laughs> it tastes like a hangover tomorrow. It tastes like a hangover. I love it. There's a big spice in there. There is. It, it's got like on the back note, but someone said leather, and I can see that way on the back end too. Mm. On the back of the tongue, you're getting like that le textile-y kind of leather thing going on. Wow. Well. <laughs> Someone pulled my mom's basement. I don't uh, know if you saw my that. Kayla's right. Here. My mom's basement. That's what he's getting out of that one. The mustiness. Love the musty that. of mom's basement. When you were hiding back there behind the the water heater, drinking from dad's stuff. Hope it'll get caught. Mm hmm. Yeah, maybe like a, a cinnamon note back there too. Yeah, it, it's it's easy. It's a it's a really easy sipper. That's for sure. Mm. That thing, you know, there's not a lot of burn going on in there at all. Mm. Um. Wow. All right. Mm. Hey, so Nick, tell us about your t-shirt. Yes, tell us about your t-shirt, Oh, Nick. this Wait, shirt right here? Yeah, that one right there, buddy. All right, well, in college, I was in a fraternity. I, I still am technically. Always will be in a fraternity. But, um, and I joined the... It's like joining a gang? You, you know what you're yeah. in, you're always in? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> you know about that. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> and uh, I... When I joined, I joined my second semester freshman year, and every single year they do Greek week where there's a bunch of activities, games, competitions, and then there's a winner every year. And one of the last things you do at the end of the week is lip sync. It's an lip sync competition. Mm -hmm. And literally, we practice for weeks on, like, performance and singing and, and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was like, the newbie just got in, and they're like, we're going to use you. And I was like, I'm in. I love stuff like that. Whatever. And... um we performed Grease's Summer Nights. And all the guys, how many of us? Two, four, six, eight of us performed Summer Nights, half dressed up as Sandy Cheeks and all her peeps. That's, that's Sandy not, Cheeks that's and all her peeps? <laughs> Sandy uh, Cheeks is from SpongeBob. Uh, <laughs> Sandy from, uh, from Grease. And then, you know, the rest of us dressed up like, you know, the stud John Travolta is. We all mm -hmm. had our leather coats on, slicked back hair. And I was the first guy that goes, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh. <laughs> and I had a full line, and I sang it. I didn't lip sync. I lip -sync. Oh, you're amazing. Oh, yeah. yeah no and uh, we stole the show. People were going wild. We went out in the crowd. Woo. Yeah. Wow. Ripped it up. Well, that's. And what what came out of it? A t-shirt. So there here we go. are. Right. And we use it as our rush week when we try to get new members. <clears throat> and oh. this was as college as I could get because 
If you saw me on co- in college, I was pretty much wearing either a Sigma Pi t-shirt or a normal t-shirt, or I was going to work, so I was in a polo. So I didn't... My wardrobe wasn't... No. All right. I didn't have much. We do. Oh, we actually do. Oh, okay. we did get college pictures. We did. We we do have some stuff for, going just on. Just for them. Just, just for everyone out there in the audience. We we're have gonna, a few. We're going to show a couple of pics here that we have from back in our heydays, right. really. So hey, here's, hey, here's one pic of... Who's this? Oh, oh, so handsome. What a handsome fella he is. Look at me. So we used to have a bunch of formals and stuff. So we used to get dressed up super nice. You go out, you go dancing, you go drinking, you have a good night. Nice. I like it. I yeah. like it. And we have a pic of the bourbon babe back in her. Hey, look, boozing it up. There See she her? is. Boozing. Back when, the, that back when the hair was big and the shirts were, uh, the skirts were short. Nice. Oh, you you almost messed it up. I almost messed it up. I practiced it all afternoon and I almost screwed it up. But yes, big, big hair, short skirts. Pacing all afternoon, yeah. practicing like... Uh, what else do I have? Uh, I got a picture of me back yeah, in the day. Look this at this is, stud. Look at that guy. Don't have, I don't know why it's as big, like that big, but yeah, that was, that was back in the day. Do you still have those sunglasses? Uh, you know, those were a pair of Oakley's I had. I believe those are lost forever. Wow. That was a, a Oakley frog skins. That's what those were. Okay. Yeah, that's what, that's what those were. Yeah. I got, um, oh, here he is. You'll get to see him again. Ah, oh. oh, sexy Nick in his heels. Here I go there with my is. bad self. With your bad self. And let me just say, my calves look great. They do look good. You could have used a little bit of a tan, though. I'm not, I'm you know what? I'm, I'm the whitest you. you know. That's the Irish. <laughs> That's the Irish. My you? sister right. got the Portuguese. I got the Irish. All right. Fair enough. And good. yeah, you did. Look at that. You look. You... I walked a mile in those shoes. That's so It was a way. fundraiser. Walk a mile in her shoes. So in case you didn't know, you know, that was basically men's march to stop uh, rape, sexual assault, sexual assault and gender um, uh, violence. So we would do this every single year as our philanthropy um, uh, event. And I was helping host that year, and it was good. It was nice. great. it was a, it was a great event. That's a great fundraiser. Yeah. Um, and here is me in the Bourbon Babe. Yeah. And back in college days, actually in the Bourbon Babe's college dorm room. I couldn't believe you got a picture of you two on a bed. Yeah, that's what this is the type of show we do. That is the type. This we was, almost put me you, on a bed. Do you, <laughs> we almost did. <laughs> do you know what this picture is? This isn't thirty-five millimeter, buddy. No. This is a Polaroid. Love it. This is way before a, your era. That, I'm not, no. Like I love Polaroids. Shake it like a Polaroid yeah. picture. Oh, the original. Oh, yeah. That is the original Listen, Polaroid. Listen, I was, was there for Polaroids, guys. I'm not that far out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm going to warm it up. We got to get it ready. Quick, get, quick. get this ready. I never had to do that. I just knew. I just had to shake it. Maybe mine was a little bit more advanced, I guess. <laughs> Jeff Revive. Avert your eyes, Sadie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, that's a look. All what right. else we got? I think they are looking smoother than me. <laughs> oh, you're looking at comments? What do we got? High school wardrobe. Yeah, that's the high school wardrobe way back in the day. That was that would have been my college wardrobe though then. Oh, uh, what's this? What do you got? Only if you had high heels. You did have high heels. I did have high heels. Yeah, on. you did. Pull at, the picture oh, back up. I will. I will. Eesh, why are you yelling at me? Everyone <laughs> yells at me. I'm just trying to do producing here, and it's just not working. There's the high heels right down. Yeah. I, you can't see my little pointer, but down there at the bottom, he's got his heels on. Over there. He was rocking his high heels for his. They're walk. about an inch. Post their college pictures. Ooh. Ooh, yeah! If you got your if you've got your college pictures, you can post them in the comments. We won't be able to see them on this because it will not post the pictures, which I I would love to pull up, but I wouldn't be able to. But definitely, so others can enjoy. If you oh, have yeah. if you have pictures from your high school uh, from your college days, definitely put them up there. Oh oh oh! Sorry sorry. Uh, uh, we could make it happen. It could be. You know what? We've been talking about a kinfolk calendar, and I'm telling you, I think it'd be big. December. I'm taking December. Okay. Thick down coats. <laughs> I'm locking up November through February. All right. <laughs> That's what I'm locking up. I guess I got the summer season. I will folks. have uh, I start the shape. Russian bathing suit contest. That's what I'll be doing <laughs> underneath my long, thick goose. In the record, uh, in, in the history of the show, from past moving forward to the future, there will be a day I get myself a picture in the old fashioned, like barrels around me wearing nothing with just straps. <laughs> I you need need that go over picture. the falls, you need that, huh? Yeah, All and then, right. yeah, you could kick me off into the falls. That's All fine. Right. Sweet. Kick you off into the falls. <laughs> Folks, we're going to move on to Sample C if you haven't done it yet. Moving on to Sample C next. All right. Sir. Click. Click. Hmm. I don't think the plastic is doing much for any of these. 
it's kind of another. I don't know if it's because it sat out. And if here's the whole thing. Now, not going to lie to you. Not that I'm saying I'm snobbish or snobbery, but I would much rather do these out of Glencairn glasses. I really well, yeah. would, um, because you you just you are able to get a much better nosing out of these. But as Tony, I, don't, I think this is how Tony does them all the time. I don't even know. He may just stick actually the sample bottles in one nostril and take a sniff because he, does, he <laughs> usually does this in a parking lot somewhere. <laughs> with his lovely wife so um i'm not getting yeah it's like a dark this is like dark dark nose notes you got a lot of caramel on this no come on no you don't it's our show i have to come say hi to the people. oh here she is ruining my show <laughs> no, sorry you got abel, abel in the way put abel over there so you can hi, see everybody. back up Hey everyone, say hi, Becca. I'm hello, getting hello. like a lot of fruit yeah. as well. Like lot uh, for me, caramel, <sighs> toffee, cinnamon, yeah. oak. Um, well, I just went into the palate, so kind of. Oh, you I already did, did. You cheater. Why is that a cheater? Because you didn't announce it. I don't have to announce it. <laughs> yes, we usually. We're do. all adults here. It's college we... night. Drink like you want to drink, people. If I want to go open the bottle, I'll go open the... the bottle. Actually, I don't even know which bottle of juice. No, you wouldn't know, huh? Hmm. Full mouth. My mouth's watering right now from that sip. Cinnamon, uh, like heavy, like an oaky, definitely some oak going on. I'm getting like a ton of pepper and spices. There is some, there's some spice in the background too, but there's a fruit note in there too. Uh, vanilla? Caramel? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. No the idea. first one was a bit... Oh, wait. You didn't do the notes for B. Oh. You didn't do the cheat sheet. She, uh, oh, right. we got too busy looking at your Yeah, pictures. we did. Your sexy legs kind of threw me off. So let's go back. I made everyone got, distracted. Uh, we got Tim Murray. Hi, uh, Becca. Hi. There he is. Hi, All right, back. folks. We got to revisit the B for a second. Yeah, I got, I'm going to go. You can continue oh, sipping on C. It's all messed up. Yeah, it's all messed up from what? Well, now I can't go back to B. All right. Well, so on the B, <laughs> we have. <laughs> all right. So for the B sample, it is. Tobacco, burnt caramel, woody, dark chocolate are the most prominent. Uh, flavors of oak and mint are also in this bourbon whiskey. Wow. Okay. So Go back to the one we're doing. Yep. Back to C. That was B. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's oak in that one. Definitely on the palate. But with that cinnamon spice, you're getting like that spice notes in the background on the tongue. Yeah. Uh, like. No, oh, you're right, Anna. You, like you'll, a, get a, you'll get that a lot. A lot of the bourbons that you drink, uh, well, you'll get those caramelized um, sugars and you'll get that cinnamon a lot in a lot of the bourbons also. So it's not just your, it's not you or just your allergies. It's like a nuttiness or something. Yes, that's that's my that life is. right here, Paul. Getting dominated. I can't even can't even produce the show the way I want to produce it. Not anymore. It's that, nope, it's all over. It's not it's not anyone's show. It's everyone's show. I'm just the I don't know tech tech person. I just handle the tech the technical <laughs> no end of way, it sometimes. You more than that. Um, charred we got right here from Michael Kalis. Definitely got some char in there. Uh, we got smells like burnt tires. That's always delicious. Oh look, Paul set up there. Almost an amaretto. Amor amaretto. How Amor do you say it? Amaretto. 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 I agree with him. I think mm -hmm. that was the nuttiness I was looking for. Like that nutty. Uh, I can see the oh, nuttiness in that. Almond, yep. And then there's some almonds. All right. I get almonds. Tastes like, uh, we got Paul Michael says, tastes like leather again with some toffee and almonds. All right. So you're getting that nutty note again in there. Almondy. Uh, Darren says cherry. I don't love this one, but I'm intrigued by this one. Okay. What the, uh, were you even expecting that? That came out of nowhere. I was afraid. I was, can I tell you duck. something? I was, like, I was terrified. I was like, I oh, literally oh, thought. Oh, oh. I thought. I don't even know. Just fall out of nowhere. Yeah. No. I. Re <laughs> the hell. All right. I still keep the oh, lead. I spilled my whiskey. Oh. oh look who loses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a college oh. Oh. I'm yeah. winning because you know what? I'm not going to drop one. None of these people are going to pick any of these up. It'll be me on another. Oh my god. What the? Stop trying to get it. <laughs> that, that might have actually went in. I might have. Oh, uh, off the lip. Yeah. I love my upper lip. Well, you could have done it better. Me or him? Mm. 
I was going Save that. All right, you get. I got Cheeto all over me now. Oh. I hope they're keeping track at home to see. Oh. Hey, got one. That's how you do it. Oh, Smells like ancient history, oh, 101 man. professor. That's got to be Jeff. He's had them all night long. Smokey, Darren says, okay, Amaretto also. Yep, you get that nuttiness in there. Definitely, I agree. Save your notes, what you're thinking, you know, what you have in your head. Because, again, at the end, we're going to have to put this in some <clears> kind of order, your best to worst, and what you think each one might be. So what do you think A is? What do you think Ooh, B yeah. is? Oh, my gosh. Oh, the child you is here? You scared the living heck out of me. I met your mom twice. <laughs> <laughs> Sadie's here, folks. Sadie. Alves, the one and only. The is one it and the only. Don't, don't show that... whatever bottle that is. Are we supposed to know what that bottle is? Yeah, oh, okay. I came with the goods. Pink lemon. No, fun. that's Rubinoff. I received. Oh, that's the Rubinoff. Oh, oh no! Oh, wow. Okay, I give you major props. That's amazing. <laughs> that's awesome. I wanted the Thanks. raspberry, but I couldn't find any, so that's like loser tonight. That's the loser tonight. I'll do it with you. I'll be a good sport. Oh, that would be Becca. Definitely. I called it out. I got. Becca's gonna have to. Down I can't this. believe you just went and got that. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Crazy. I put it on my Stonehill stuff too. Wow, nice. nice. Repping. Well, repping her school. Woohoo! I like it. Honestly, I've been saying for weeks, like, when's Sadie coming? And she surprises me tonight, nearly gives me a heart attack, and then supplies me with Rubinoff. Yep. Wow. We're back. We're, we're back, yeah. I didn't know we left. No, no I didn't know either. <laughs> I, I didn't know we changed the vodka night. I didn't know we were going. That's the loser. Well, that... Cheese balls. You better start catching them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Give me those notes for C. For C, sir. There, June is my cheat sheet. Tunnel there. Oh. Uh... Complex aromas of toffee with hints of orange peel, honey, leather, and stewed fruits. Everyone wins on this on one. On the palate, oily and bold with spicy vanilla. Mm -hmm. I said vanilla. You did. Uh, candied almonds. Mm. Ooh, nuts, everyone. Everyone's winning. Everyone had nuts in their mouth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a college night if I've ever Ooh. lived one. Uh, <laughs> leather and some sweet char. Guys, we nailed it. All of us. All Everyone of us together. together. One crew. Very, You're all on the show now. We're all going to be here. It's going to be 47 people doing a review. <laughs> Everyone's behind us. We're here for I'll have to break, we'll, we'll have to do a Zoom. We'll do it by Zoom. A Zoom one. It'll look like the Brady Bunch. It'll be yeah, awesome. Yeah, it'll be just 47 people doing the review, and that's how we're going to do it. That's going to be keeping it neat with everybody. I, I'm proud of everyone. Everyone's learning. We are all look learning. Look at how we all did that. I love uh, it. Yep, that was good. That was good. Everyone we're had good. nuts in their mouth. That was definitely the quote of the night. Stewed fruits. That's right. Stewed yeah. fruits. I, I don't, you know, I don't always agree with what the notes say because I always try, I do try to get these from, um, sometimes I get them from Flaviar. Mm -hmm. uh, I try to go to one site to get them because this way at least it's a consistent uh, kind of a note you're getting. It's from the same source. Yep. A lot of other times I get it from different ones. Uh, and I originally, I will try to get it from the distiller itself if I can find the notes on it. Um, but one of these, when I tried to get the notes, the, the Earl Settler. Mm -hmm. Good luck. I couldn't find anything on them. I couldn't find. I, I had to go. I went down the rabbit hole looking for anything on them right there. The, the only, most information I got was off the back of the bottle. That's that's the most I had. It's a, it's a New Orleans one, huh? Right? Isn't that the New Orleans logo? Well, it is. A, that's just a, the. It's what just what the hell is that? What the heck is that thing called? The. Uh, mm. Yeah, Fleur de Lis. That is uh, New Fleur Orleans. That's more of a French thing, yes. But oh. it's, it is from Kentucky. It is, it, it is Kentucky whiskey, so. All right. Um, so, folks, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be moving on to D. We're going to move on to D. To the D. Derek. Yes. <laughs> and before we start the D, what <laughs> what was your snack around that time? Like, for instance, oh. we used to always okay. have, I mean, between cheese balls, Oreos, and every snack you can imagine. Like, a lot of go-tos in, in my friends' rooms was always a, a thing of ramen. We always had ramen around. Either this or like the bag style, we had ramen. Ramen. Ramen was your thing. Honestly, you know what my big thing was? Was I used to eat, and I still eat today, sharp cheddar cheese and pepperoni. Just that. Just that. Like I'll just eat, uh, just like the, the pre or you, oh, Back in the day, back in the day, Nick, when I was younger in my colleges, yeah. they didn't pre-slice the cheese. You had to buy the block of cheese yeah. and slice the chunks off yourself. Wow. So you made it to whatever. Sometimes, you know. So. The times. It was. I mean- and then, so, so you had a hard block of cheese. Yeah. And you had a hard stick of pepperoni. It's usually, yes. And you just. And, and you were you alone. Do, you just. <laughs> just me, my pepperoni, and cheese. 
dude. You crack me up. <laughs> That's not coming. Party night. Party night. <laughs> Get up my pepperoni. <laughs> Where's the log, ma? Ah, this is degenerating. <laughs> We're going down a place we don't need to. I love it. All right. Ramen and whiskey pairing, someone says. Hey, there you go, John. We got to do so. a weird whiskey pairing. Cheese, pepperoni, and Triscuits. There you go. That's Honestly, Jesse. That was Jesse's rocking see, it. I like it. I like it. I still do that. Like, that's, a, that's I feel like, a classic appetizer. You're having people over. You're going to put out a snack. You just give you them a, just cream. a stick of pepperoni for everyone. It's like the cheapest way of doing a charcuterie board you could ever do. I'll never uh, say that word right. Charcuterie. Don't, don't even try. All right. Sh- sh- Nick's charcuterie. When you go to Nick's house, you get a charcuterie. It's like my spin on a charcuterie board. <laughs> Did I say it right? I, I don't know. Did you? I have no idea. We haven't talked to Bourbon I'll Bay back. I don't. It. I'll never get things right. She, she's the one. She just tells me what to do, and I put it on a platter. Or Man, a that's, a, that's a charcuterie board. All right. Look what I did, folks. What I? <laughs> I'm fancy. <laughs> I'm so fancy. Let's drink this with wine. Amazing. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's do the D. All right. <laughs> Let's do the D. Pong. Pong. We should have had Pong. Oh, Pong. ColecoVision. We could have had a contest. Atari. Ooh, that would have been fun. Beer pong, though. Not this pong. Too oh, you meant, you thought I meant... Oh, I thought pong. you meant pong pong. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Now we've seen the generation. Yeah, I mean, now we get whole... it. Yeah, I mean, I liked the game yeah. pong. Around my time, we had, like, PlayStation 2 and 3 and stuff. Yeah, like, but it's okay. Like... We'll we'll reference pong. But I was talking about beer, beer pong. pong. Oh, all right. We'll see that when you say pong, you got to, you know, beer pong. You I guess know, I should have been more specific. There's, yeah. there's a lot of pong out there. No, there is a lot of pong. <laughs> there's a lot. <laughs> I'm going to stop. All right. 10th floor. <laughs> uh, okay. So what's we got here? So C smells like D. <laughs> smells like D? We're on D. Oh, yeah. You <laughs> said C. Oh, I'm sorry. We're on D. Smells like fruit pong. snacks. It smells like pong. Back in his day, when they walked uphill in school, they it was in the snow both ways uphill. Absolutely, like the nose, Bill Kitcher with no shoes on. Absolutely, God, it's so hard to get in here. I'm like not breathing. I'm Honey on the so nose, hard. Michael Kalis, Tony. We did it today. Candy corn. Someone said, Paul. I'm getting like a corn. Milk. Michael Kalis. Honey and caramel nose. I am getting a lot of the caramel, the corn. I can see the honey. The term is bougie. Bougie. Fruity. Fruity bougie. <laughs> Don't throw anything at me. I'm, t- oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, running, I'm running a show here, people. Almonds. Someone else got almonds on this one, too. This, one, this one's a lot tougher. I find that the nose is very <laughs> faint. You want to see a magic trick? It's, well, <laughs> want to see me do it again? <laughs> you see me do it again? Oh, look at that! Woo! Um, I'm getting a lot of like a cherry, a honey, mm-hmm. almost like a. Uh, it doesn't smell like a cough drop, but it's like that smell that one would give off the aroma of before coffee. you eat it. Like a eucalyptus. Yeah. A eucalyptus. Definitely so, there's like a fake <laughs> artificial nose in there. Mm-hmm. So maybe that's that cough syrupy kind of cough drop. Fake cherry. Artificial cherry. All right, I guess. one for it. Artificial cherry. Oh, I really like that. Oh, that was way off. That was my fault. No. You know, oh, you really? Yeah, the other one. Oh, I really it wasn't my fault. One. Oh, Come on. oh, man. Powder in the eye. Blind. Oh, off the chin. Oh, listen. Listen, I can't. I think it's you back. Yeah, I really do. Oh. At Arkit. Oh, it was eat right was wham. Like, yeah, up, light. Oh, arc, light, not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. In. See the arc. Dude, I almost went full mouth on your face. <laughs> oh, nom, nom, nom. I was going for, I was going for like the dive. Yeah, you were. You were going. You were committed. <laughs> I like it. You were committed to that one. Man, someone needs to get that in slow motion. Mm. Oh, that was oh, hilarious. There you go. There's oh, your God. your favorite. Oh, and me too, huh? My stomach turned <laughs> like instantly. <laughs> oh, can't wait for Beck to vacuum. Yeah, sure. She's we can doing... literally see you bobbing. She's doing it now. Vacuuming. Because you guys suck. This oh, is my. really good. You don't like this one, dude. This is. 
freaking oh dude you're Windex. sipping that i'm drinking the d oh i thought you drank that <laughs> that's at the end oh what have you done and i throw myself all <laughs> I thought you were drinking that. I'm like, this is Windex. What are you talking about? It's a party here oh. at the studio tonight. We said it was going to be college night, folks. I've got a little hockey locker room set in this one. Okay. It's very Like specific. the equipment afterwards. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. The oh pads. Oh, my God. That was so funny. I think I got cheese in my eye. I'm yeah, not click kidding. the blue, blue link at the top, Amos. It's me, Amos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming up as Facebook user. Yeah. The blue thing uh, at the top. I really think I got cheese ball in my eye. You probably did. Beck was whipping him at us. Hitting the eyebrows. <laughs> off my million dollar computer. It was everywhere. It was terrible. <sighs> that was so funny. Go blind here. Uh, yeah, you got to right. hit the, the little blue thing that says uh, you, we are using StreamYard. You click on that and just give permissions and your name will be able to be popped up. You're going to have to do that every once in a while if you make a comment and it doesn't show up. There is an artificial flavor in this one a little bit. Like people okay. have been saying the artificial cherry, I feel like. Um, hey, we got Faith and Jeff. Are, we're applauding the cheese ball captures here. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Got thank you. Yeah, applause from Jeff. I like it. Thank you. Um, thank Anna you. says D tastes like I'm sticking to frozen margaritas and my coquito coquitos. I'm not made for these. I'm weak. <laughs> I love. She's gonna coquito. stick to the margaritas. Oh my god, this isn't for her. Maybe a coquito. No, I haven't had a cookie. Though. Oh, my God. It's basically like eggnog, but it's delicious. It's better than eggnog. Oh, my kill is rubber and latex. Yeah, I went from liking it to not really. Uh, the, the palate is like non-existent for mm. me. Well, you sipped Reuben off. <laughs> it's not even that. It's, I can actually see that, that, that latexy <laughs> um, artificiality to it. It's like... Yeah, like li- like rubber gloves or yes, something. Yes, like that, like the powdered rubber gloves. That's exactly yes. what. Like not even the good rubber oh, gloves. And like when the, they leave the stuff you, everything all over you your hand, t- yeah, you're like, what? Yes, yeah. looks like you just helped a bull. <gasps> She's gonna send us some. Ooh! Oh my gosh! I'll do a full review. Yeah, we'll do. Nick, Nick's, Nick's in the. I've never heard of it, Anna's, but we would love to have it. Oh, um, Paul Port Eagle. He's trying to Port compare. Eagle. He's trying to compare. He's gonna, it. Figure, he's gonna, it he's gonna figure it out. He's like, what is this? Yeah. Nick, he's, he's got his out. own cheat sheet. Yeah, he does have his own. He has a, Paul has his own bar, so you know he's. Gonna Paul's be, got a nice bar. A lot does. of our a lot of our followers have been posting their um, collection and their you know their cabinets or something, and I'm thoroughly impressed. A lot of people have great selections, and no, you're not I'm good jealous. now, Amos. It's still not showing up. I don't know uh, if it takes a little while if you have to refresh it or what, but don't worry about it. We know it's you. Oh my God, Jeff Rivard. <laughs> Tastes like backseat rejection <laughs> on a Friday night. That's wow. awesome. That that's, a, that's up there. That's that, another that's, good comment. That is a I good might, comment. We might need to start making a book of comments. Book of comments? There's a lot of good ones. We've had a funny few ones. The yeah, there, lost there, tapes, as we call the lo- them. There's some lost tapes. Yeah, there's, wow. there's a few comments that we have on our lost tapes that could never, ever see the light of day. Those, uh-uh. those are forever lost. You know, we, we try to. You put guys we, thought the shorts were funny. Yeah, well, yeah. We, we've got some good good coverage that I can never show. I just, we just will never be out there. All right, let's do it. So we got to go back through them. I personally will try every single one again just to see what I'm doing. Did we get the cheat sheet on this one? Because I didn't. Hear it. We didn't get the cheat. I sheet I haven't yet. done the cheat sheet on this one yet. I'm going to do but it. But I'm a second just telling here. myself. I got to. Nick's Nick psyching himself up to go through yeah, them all ready. again. So on this Pumping one, myself up on a college night. Now this is. The notes on this one was not from, I don't think, from the whiskey itself. I believe it was because I couldn't find notes on it. So um, it just went from some random person or a site that had done them. Um, intense nose of spice and clove, which gives way to a medium-bodied bourbon with notes of oak, brown sugar, and caramel, and a complex finish. Careful aging leaves this bourbon with a smooth and rich taste profile. I think that is lying. <laughs> um, I don't believe any words of that review at all. Because this should have just ripped I, up the whole paper. I don't find anything complex about this at all. I find it's it's very fleeting. It's not there. It's super light. You're really chasing after stuff mm-hmm. to try to find it in that one. Uh, let's see. Jesse Kruger says it coats your tongue in lips weird. Okay. It's like that. It, I believe that's because it's like that weird 
artificiality to it. It's got like that that latexy kind of flavor going on, and it just does. I I, I think, and it's not like really oily or heavy. It's like artificial in a lot of ways. Hmm. Uh, what's this? <laughs> Maybe if the clove was wrapped in a latex clove. Right. She's <laughs> that was in that was for the coach your tongue. Uh, coach, yep, yeah, uh-huh. yep, no. Gee, do you get it? Yeah, I, I get it. I can tell you I, off I, the air. Can you really? Will you explain it to me? Dad's gonna we'll explain, explain me that joke later. No problem. Okay, let's. Gee, they didn't mention latex. No, you know a lot. We only had one. Remember that one that mentioned um when we did it? I think yes. Got, what uh, was that one? Airplane glue. Airplane model airplane model airplane glue very specifically in a, in a, with like, a, a what? flavor of model airplane glue. What Number one had me that? questioning what this person was doing with their childhood. Yeah, eating model airplane glue. However, you see it in the movies a lot. Kids eating glue. Well, that's the but that's the paste from like classrooms. That was edible. Yeah, I guess model airplane glue wasn't. No, model airplane glue is not, sir. <laughs> that's basically almost like super glue. <laughs> You shouldn't be the eating weird, that. The weirdest part was it wasn't for the nose; it was for the taste. Which yeah, we were so it was really for the, confused. The, the taste. By. Yeah, it was for the taste, which was odd. And I'm like, that's the thing that threw me. Model airplane glue. Yeah. Who's licking or even trying that? But not in this one. But the notes do not seem to match up for me anyway. And it seems like a lot of our viewers right now are not saying that those notes match up with D at all. That's just not that. It's, it's not, not that not, complex. It's not even that deep. You know, you can't get that much out of this. I'm going if this is like two, maybe three notes tops, and that's for everything. That's palate and nose. <laughs> My buddy Chris. Oh, Chris just came in. Amazing. These are always good. You see it in the movies. Kids eating glue, a.k.a. Nick's home movies. <laughs> <laughs> just buy like the entire <sighs> like giant jug of it. Oh, let's watch another one of Nick's baby. Oh, look at him eating his glue again. Oh, my god, He looks so good man. in a helmet. He is so good at his one-liners. Chris was actually just on my movie podcast on Monday. Oh. He's doing a double dip this week, I guess. Double dip. Coming into both. Oh, well, yeah, he is. Just you like me. To... Yeah, you are. You. That's right. You came off your other your, your other podcast into this this week. Busy week. We had the you Oscars. Are. You're very busy. The Oscars were out there. That's right. They were. So, thing. folks, we're going back through A through D again, you know, kind of sip through it. Pick out which you think it is, which you might think is the order of what belongs in your top to bottom. Which one you would, which one you would like to drink more than the others. I'm going to... I need my um. Do you mind grabbing it? That my um paddle. Oh, his paddle. He's gonna... actually. So I almost brought my paddle, my fraternity paddle, and then I didn't because I figured we'd get lost in that. It could be a lot of com- conversation. Um, oh, so Paul Lavelli says he couldn't match up the eagle, so he couldn't figure out. I'm gonna tell you something. I can't either, and that's why I was like, Ugh, I gotta go back to him. Even for the eagle rap. See, and he so he had an advantage. He brought. He had the open book test, and he still can't pass. It's all right, Paul. <laughs> you can call me ninety-eight percent. Oh, 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 she's throwing. She just threw shots at Paul. Yeah, she did. Paul, just she so you know, Burn Bay Becca. You're Burn hearing Bay. it first. She what said, happens? Wow, you get and you're saying that I only got Paul. a ninety-eight percent. That's right. And she goes, but that's better than Paul got. And it, that's basically what she said. That's ba- I don't it was implied. <laughs> it was implied. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, say to yourself. Say, there we go. That's it. Uh, you know, Paul versus Becca in the next Rumble. That's right, the next <laughs> Royal Rumble. We're gonna have ninety eight percent against Paul. It'll be the College Night Brawl. College Night Brawl, huh? You want to see what we want to call it? All right, so we got A. A is what right. we go coming down. Some people saying A is the one they like the most. All right, so what I like, and then on the other side, what I think they are. A for sure. In the order, Jeff Rivard likes. A, C, D, then B. I, I'm just going to pull these up and show people because um, I'm not going to remember what everyone had, but you'll be able to once I show which one, and I tell you which one's a which. I need a few now, minutes to write all this. No, but here's the other thing too, folks. Like you're saying A, C, D, B, that's your favorite order, but what do you think A is? Now, everyone's saying A. Which one do you think A is out of these? Do you think it's the Earl Settler, the Evan Williams, the Old Crow, or the Eagle Rare? So if you're picking your best, your favorite, which one do you think that is? I know absolutely nothing about these bottles, which is the hardest part. Honestly, um, I'm it's not gonna even not going to lie guess. to you. Three of these bottles I've never tried before. I've never had the Old Crow. I've never had this Evan Williams. And I've never had the Earl Settler. The Earl Settler we, we, we bought because the guy that was running the section was really high on this one. He was like, you got to buy this. This is amazing. 
and hit this. Dude, and he wouldn't stop talking. We like tried to get away from him. He was just like, oh, and he kept giving me the history on it. I don't know where he got the information from because you can't find Jack on this one. Nothing. Really? I don't know if he went to Kentucky, went to like the archives of some dusty book somewhere and was able to pull it up because. Oh, that's a good hint. Which one was the one we didn't know any notes about? Who remembers? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paul Michael, he says C was his fave out of them all. So that would be his first pick. Break out is the that, Rock'em Sock'ems. We get those at home. Is the Old Crow, is that a corn whiskey? No, it's a regular, that's a regular straight bourbon whiskey. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, sir, aged a sweet three years. What's the in... mash bill? I don't know. Oh, okay. The mash bill, I don't know what that is. Uh, Michaela says, the only one I've had is Eagle Rare, and I'm having a hard time picking it out. Okay. Uh, Michaela says, AC with B and D tied for last. Okay. So AC and B and D tied for last. Uh, Darren thinks B is the Eagle Rare. My samples are so slow. So low. Hmm? No, thanks. I think I know what that one is. And I'll also give you the lowdown on the prices on these puppies. Okay. So if you want to go out, you can pick some of these sweet bottom shelf bourbons up. I can tell you the cheapest one was nine ninety nine. Oh, they can see what I'm writing. <laughs> um. Not really a secret. It's not, but I have like two sides to do. Curious what you paid for each bottle. I will tell you, Tracy, in a little bit, I'll let you know what each one costs for a 750 milliliter bottle or actually I also have the price, I think, for the 1.75s, which a lot of these aren't going to break the bank and you could buy them if you wanted them. Oh, uh, Tony. Jesse says Tony is driving, so his guess is B, B is Settler, C is Evan Williams, uh, A is rare and D is crow. Okay. Thank you, Jazzy. Uh, old crow, nine ninety nine. I think old crow was nine ninety nine. If I'm correct on this, when I, when I look at the cheat sheet, I, I do believe it is. It's like nine, 11 bucks tops. I may have bought cause I actually bought that one. Um, cause I can't find actually a seven fifty milliliter bottle around here. I've, I've looked a couple of places. I bought this one when me and the bourbon babe went up to New Hampshire to some liquor stores up in New Hampshire one time. And I walked into one and I bought that old crow. Uh, yep. Noonzy, you're right. Uh, the Eagle Rare is about 35 to $40 a bottle. I think I paid $34 for this one at whatever store I picked it up at just recently. So that's right in that ballpark range. Um, also, the thing is like they're really... They had a hard time finding these lately. Um, a lot of places, they were kind of sold out, and they were kind of like back-ordered on the Eagle Rares. Uh, so we got Paul Michael says, A is Old Crow, B is 1783, C is Eagle Rare, and D, the liquid at the bottom of my trash can. <laughs> nice job there. I like that. Uh, bold choice for road sodas. Yeah, that would be a bold choice. Uh... Oh, more comments here. What do we got? Chris Tangent. Old Crow looks like it hasn't changed their pre-bottle in-bond formula. Um, I really don't think – I think it's almost the exact same, Chris. Um, and nothing has changed with it since Dr. Crow. I believe that's who it was. There. Dr. John, James Crow invented it, and it's pretty much stayed the same um, all the way through. Uh, Faith, I will end if, uh, if A is a nine ninety nine bottle. Okay. Nothing was as cool by driving. There you go. That's right. Responsibility. That's what we like, Jesse. Uh, how are you making out over here, uh, my scientist? You're all set or still nope. working on it? Still working. Talk to the peeps. <laughs> Talk to the peeps. I'm I can't be wrong. <laughs> all right. Well, you can be wrong. It's okay. He's treating this like college. He's doing his studying. He's about to take his test. Oh, okay. 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 Fair enough. Oh, D is terrible. I think I know. I think I'm close. Yeah. I think. 
And then I could lose all credibility tonight for everyone. <laughs> it's, dude, here's the whole thing, folks. True blinds are tough. They really are. Unless you've drank a lot of whiskey in your day and can and know what to compare stuff to. It is it is hard to pick one out from the others. Even if you had a comparison, you knew what, say, um, you could compare old the old the crow water. against the blind sample and you thought was old crow. It would be it's tough. It really is, you know, because now you're, you're looking for stuff that might not be there. <sighs> that good, huh? All right. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's worse when you gulp. Like I've been sipping them, sipping. And then I just like took like a pretty good gulp of each one. Oof. All right. Yeah. So, so what are you going? So we here. Here we so go. Nick's Nick's picks here. Right. The here. order of what I liked spells bat, b a c d, with bad spelling because it's college night. Uh, I liked B, then A, then C, then D. What I think they are is I think A is Evan Williams. Yes, faith. I think the right Evan. What's this called? Evan Williams, seventeen eighty three. Yep. I don't know. It had like a taste, and I almost thought it was that, but I don't know. B, I think, is Eagle Rare. C, okay. I think, is Earl Sedler. All right. And then D, I think, is Old Crow. Okay. All right. Whoa, excuse me. Whoa. Yeah, big fella. Easy. We had a good Easy, dinner. big fella. Yeah, that was a good dinner. All right, folks. We're going to break up the, the suspense here right now. I'm going to let you know what each one is. So, A is Old Crow. Oh, no. <laughs> So A is Old Crow, folks. A was Old Crow. Oh, I'm already off to a bad start. B is the Evan Williams 1783. Damn it. Evan Williams 1783 oh, no. is B. We have C is Eagle Rare. Okay. You got the Eagle Rare is C. And for the last, which one said was in the bottom of his trash can, is D is the Earl Settler. Yeah. D yeah. was a hundred percent the worst one. Yeah, that was so that was that was the Earl Settler. That was that bottle there on the end. Now, Old Crow aged a sweet three years. Um, average price you can find this for is between ten to thirteen dollars. Will you find a bottle of seven fifty? If you'd like a um, one point seven five, twenty bucks. So a big bottle like this would be twenty dollars for some Old Crow. Okay, Evan Williams seventeen eighty three. That one was a little bit more on the pricey end for our cheaper whiskeys on um, bottom shelf. That was $15.49 for the 750 milliliter bottle. Uh, 1.75 was $27.99 for the bottom shelf. So if you and your buddies back in your college days wanted to all pitch in, you could have got yourself a little party in a bottle for 1.75, a couple of bucks each. Okay. The Eagle Rare was $34. Yeah. That's always. that's the price of that. I don't even I don't know if they have 1.75. I've never seen, I don't think I oh maybe yes, I have seen the big is. bottles. Yeah, yeah. The, the big ones. Yeah, the monster bottles. 100%. I don't know what that is. I've never looked at it. I've, I've never wanted that much Eagle Rare. So um and the Earl Settler, $9.99 a bottle. If you want it, that's how much it would cost. And for a 1.75, which I think is a really it's honestly an amazing deal because you're getting twice as much, $16.99. For one point seven five, and I have one what? at home, folks. I mean, the, again, when you're in college, you don't care. You're yeah, drinking. You're not caring drink. exactly, yeah, no. and that's you're not doing idea. this. No, we're not doing this, and that's no. the whole thing. So Paul Michael actually was victorious in this one. He got he guessed them all in the correct order. Heck yeah, yeah. good for him. Good for you, Paul. Good job, Paul. nice job, Paul. Paul actually, yeah, he nailed that one uh, when he said it. He had it. He had it down pat. That was his old crow, seventeen eighty three eagle rare, and then D, the liquid at the bottom of his trash can. Good job, Paul. Nice work there. Wow. Good work on everyone tonight. Thank you for all, everyone that came tonight and actually tried the new people. Anna yeah. down in Florida. I know this was outside your wheelhouse here for um, the hard liquor. You're more of a light fruity drink kind of a girl. But thank you for joining us and. Um, oh, the other thing too, folks, is next month's sip along. I'm gonna be. Sh I'm trying to ship them out this weekend so they get to you. Check your inboxes for a invoice from Chug Jugs if you have not paid yet. If you've already paid, you're all set. Um, but in your inboxes from Chug Jugs um, for the invoice for next month's sip along, the Cleveland Whiskey Muckies, keeping it neat blend. We have that one. We Nick has to reveal a super secret that's been driving Darren crazy for months now. Yeah. All right, so uh, 
what was that in preparation for next month's right i was sipping on something and i said if anyone guessed it i would have paid for their sample no one guessed it um darren had a good point he thought it was in the realm of what we were going to be doing but it totally wasn't um and so what it is i don't know was it for this month or next month it doesn't matter uh what i I was sipping on was the Elmer T. Lee. Mm-hmm. Delicious, delicious, delicious Good bottle. luck finding it. Uh, yeah, that was kind of the whole thing. Good luck finding it. Um, apparently very hard to find. I haven't tried. Derek's one who got it. And um, it amazing. Absolutely no. amazing. Absolutely. Yeah, okay, do you remember so the good. lob? Lob. <laughs> Maybe, See? And See? the lob works every time. I well, lob. you went low. Fine. I love <laughs> Jeez. Guess what? That's a two to one so far. I guess paint thin are way off. <laughs> uh, Faith Martin says, who knew like cheap whiskey? I could have enjoyed college if I went. It, the thing is, too, here's, here's the I'm whole still thing. Chewing. This, <laughs> this is more showing the point tonight is that you don't really sometimes have to spend a lot of money on bourbon or whiskey to actually find a good one. You know, I mean, there are some good ones that we did have in this in this realm here. You know, you're going to get some different flavor profiles. Um, you know, the Evan Williams, it's a Heaven Hill product, which is basically it's the same mash bill um, that's going. I'm sorry. No, the old crow is Beam Centauri. So basically, it's almost like the Jim Beam mash bill going on in that in that one that you're dealing with. Um, it's just a, in all the reviews on that one are basically says it's just a cheaper version of a Jim Beam, um, which I, I have to agree with. Eagle Rare, you're paying for the name, the bottle, but it's also one of the middle level bourbons, you know what I mean? Yep. But really, you don't have to go above like $35 to get a really good bourbon out yep. there. And some of these, you know, $9.99, they're drinkable, they're passable. Most of these you could probably use, uh, most people would just use this for mixers. They'd put it in a mixed drink. They wouldn't even mess around, you know, drinking it straight. It would just be for mixing well, well, well bourbons, I guess mm-hmm. you would call those. All right. But so next month, check inboxes right now. Um, if you haven't paid yet for next month's May, be from Chug Jugs, be for, you know, the $30, $20, whatever the, the, the price of the invoices that I sent out. Um, so pay those up because I'm shipping them out this weekend. And as soon, the sooner they get paid, when I ship them, I don't ship until I get the, the money comes in because I just don't want to be out the money. So, um, but we're shipping them out this weekend. That's my plan. Friday, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of boxing, get them to the post office on Saturday or maybe late Friday afternoon. So they're there to you. Oh, two and three. Well, if, if Becca knew how to throw, throw these cheese balls and maybe a closer you match. You lose. Also, because that. The, um, oh, wait. Here's the shot. Right, third one. I'm I good. know. It's here. Oh, <laughs> so now you tied. So uh, just to answer some questions before we wrap up. Let's get top shelf in June, Paul. That's hilarious. Yeah. Great point, Paul. Thank you. Hey guys, in the comments, Paul. put what you um, <laughs> ideas for future lives, um, what you would maybe like to see us do, you know, uh, for whiskey or whatever. Paul just said, you know, uh, top shelf bourbons. Um, but what you would like to see in the future, maybe something else that you'd like to see for our lives, maybe another Scotch night, another Irish night, um, mm-hmm. Japanese, what, whatever it might be. Put it down there in the comments. Let us know. You know, we review all the comments. We'll, we'll read through them. Um, but let us know what you might like to see in the future that you'd be interested in participating in. You know, we're always looking for something different, something new to try. Um, so definitely put that down in the comments. But other than that, I think that's going to wrap it well, up there. And, oh, oh, and, there's more. oh and. there is more. And um, you can buy this still oh, yeah. at Mucky's. At Mucky's, And yes. you can still join us as well for the sip along. Yeah, like you can Derek join us. Said. Yes. So Mucky's at Mucky's right now, they have it on sale. Our blend, forty four ninety nine on the shelf right there. Just ask for the bottle and they'll be happy to get it for you and show you where it is. And they'll let you sample it first. They will. And they do have the samples there. So you can try, you can give a little sample if you sure. want. For. So now we're going to try this stuff. Here, oh. the, the Rubinoff. The Rubinoff. Cheers. My stomach is turning. Right oh, well, and it's good. not because of the cheers ball. Did you just take ball. a little sniff already? No, I'm not, I don't even think I could, honestly. <laughs> no. I, I got a burp. Oh man! I'll blow it towards back. Send me a camera. All right, folks. no, I won't do it. Thanks everyone for joining us tonight. Definitely want to see you here in May with us again. But until then, here's hoping that everyone out there finds a little bit of luxury and otherwise ordinary life. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, guys. Woo! Tap. Oh yeah, Don't spill out of the plastic. That'd be terrible. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, it smells terrible. <laughs> oh, it smells like Sasquatches. <laughs>